What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve for the X and Y intercepts of an equation. Okay. But before doing that, I just quickly want to make sure you understand what the X and Y intercepts are, because that's going to help a lot. So we have our coordinate plane right here. So now let's just say we were plotting a line. Okay. So the X intercept is where this line right here crosses the X axis. Okay. So your X intercept would be right there. And your Y intercept is where this line right here crosses your Y axis. Okay. Which would be right there. Okay. And let's write out the points for these really quick. Okay. So your X intercept right here is at the point negative five comma zero. Okay. And then your Y intercept right here is at the point zero comma three. And I'll write it up here, zero comma three. Okay, so the main thing that I want you to get from this is looking at the x-intercept right here, right? It's at the point negative five comma zero. So your x-intercept right here will always have a zero for the y-coordinate, okay? And then your y-intercept right here will always have a zero for its x-coordinate. Okay, that's a really important concept to understand. So again, whenever you want to find the x-intercept, your y-coordinate has to be equal to zero. And if you ever want to find your y-intercept here, your x-coordinate has to be zero. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let's jump into a couple examples. Okay, so I have two equations up here, right? 2x plus y is equal to 6, and y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. So let's start with this one on the left. Okay, so first of all, let's find the x-intercept of this equation right here. Now again, if you want to find the x-intercept of an equation, then again, like I just pointed out in the little intro, your y-coordinate has to be equal to zero. Okay, so if we're trying to solve for the x-intercept right here, all I have to do is plug in a zero for my y right here. Okay, so then I'm going to have 2x plus 0 is equal to 6. Okay, and then all that's left is solving for our x right here. Okay, so 2x plus 0, that's just equal to 2x, right? And then we're setting that equal to 6. Okay, so 2x is equal to 6. Now in order to isolate the x, I just need to get rid of this 2, and I'm going to do that by dividing by 2, right? And what I do to one side, I do to the other. Okay, so then these twos, they just cancel out. So then we're just left with x on this side, and then that's going to be equal to 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. Okay, so what we just ended up finding right now is our x-coordinate. Okay, so our x-coordinate is equal to 3. So that would mean our x-intercept right here is at the point 3, comma, 0, right? Because our y is always equal to 0 for our x-intercept. Okay, so then this, again, would be your x-intercept, 3 comma 0. Okay, now what if we wanted to find our y-intercept? Well, again, referring back to the introduction, your y-intercept is always going to have a 0 for the x-coordinate. Okay, so let's plug in a zero for x right here. So let's rewrite the, the equation down here. So I'm going to have two times x, but instead of x, like I said, we're going to plug in a zero. And then it's plus y is equal to six, right? The rest of the equation plus y is equal to six. Okay, so now let's simplify this. So two times zero, that's just equal to zero. And then we have this plus y is equal to six part, right? Plus y is equal to six. Okay, so 0 plus y, that's just equal to y. So then we have y is equal to 6. Okay, so what we just found right here is our y-coordinate. Okay, so our y-intercept right here would be at the point 0, right? Because our x-coordinate is always 0 at our y-intercept, comma, 6. Okay, so this would be your y-intercept. Okay, and if we wanted to graph this, we could do that really quick too. Okay, so you would just have to draw a quick little graph like this. And then we could plot our points, right? So our x-intercept, again, is at 3, 0. So this is the origin right here. 3, 0 would be 
one, two, three, would be right there. That's three comma zero. And then our y-intercept would be at the point zero comma six. Okay, so then again, starting from the origin, go up one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then you would just have to draw a line between the two. Okay, so your line, your graph would be right there. Okay, and then again, your x-intercept is where this line right here crosses the x-axis, all right? So that's why this is your x-intercept. And then your y-intercept, again, is where this line right here, this graph, crosses the y-axis. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try one more example, and then I think it's going to start making a little more sense, all right? So here the equation we're going to work with is y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. So again, if you want to find the x-intercept, you have to plug in a zero for y right here. So instead of having y is equal to 1 half x plus 2, we're going to have zero is equal to 1 half x plus 2. Okay, so zero is equal to 1 half x, x plus 2. Okay, and then all we have to do is solve for x right here. Okay, so in order to isolate it, Let's get rid of this plus 2 first, so we're going to subtract 2 from both sides, right? What you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, so 0 minus 2 is equal to negative 2, and then that's going to be equal to 1 half x, and then here this plus 2 and this minus 2, they just cancel out and go to 0, right? So then here we have negative 2 is equal to 1 half x. Now, how do you get rid of this fraction right here? Well, all you have to do is multiply by the reciprocal, okay? So here we're going to multiply by 2 over 1, right? The reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2 over 1. You just have to flip it, okay? But 2 over 1, that's the same thing as just 2, right? So if we're going to multiply by 2 on this side, we also have to multiply by 2 on this side, okay? So now simplifying this side right here, 2 times negative 2, that's equal to negative 4. And then that's going to be equal to, uh, well, let's simplify this side. So this 1 half is going to cancel out with this 2 right here. So we're just going to be left with x on this side. Okay, cool. So we just found our x coordinate, right? So x is equal to negative 4. So let's write that. So our x-intercept is located at the point negative 4, comma, 0, right? We just solved for our x coordinate right here. And our y coordinate is equal, it's always equal to zero at the x intercept, right? Again, that's why we plugged in zero for y right there, right? That's what we did right here. Okay, so we found our x intercept. Okay, now let's find our y intercept. Okay, so in order to find the y intercept, all you have to do is plug in a zero for x up here in this equation, okay? So rewriting the equation, it's going to be y is equal to 1 half times x. But again, we're going to plug in a 0 for x right there. And then we have this plus 2 at the very end. Okay, so now simplifying this, we're going to have y is equal to 1 half times 0. That's just equal to 0. And then we have this plus 2, right? So 0 plus 2 is just equal to 2. And that's equal to y, right? So we just found our y coordinate. So y is equal to two. Okay, so our y intercept is located at the point zero comma two. Okay, so this is our y intercept. Okay, and again, in case you wanted to graph this, we could do that really quick. We just have to draw a graph. Okay, so here is our graph. Now again, the x intercept is located at the point negative four comma zero. Okay, so we're going to go back, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 is right there, right? Negative 4, 0. And then our y-intercept is located at 0, comma 2. Okay, so that would be 1, 2, right there. Okay, and then all you have to do is draw a straight line between these two points, right about there. Okay, and this line right here is the graph of this equation right up here. y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. 
Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.